Hello and welcome to another video in the Feb Scary campaign series. In the last video we exposed the ways we sexually violate birds for their eggs and their flesh and in this video we're going to uncover something you may not have ever thought about. The weird ways we sexually exploit fish and other little creatures. That's right, not even the fish are safe from humans and their lust to dominate, control and commodify through the exploitation of the reproductive organs of every animal on Earth. According to the UN Food and Agricultural Organization 2018 Fishery and Aquaculture Stats, the contribution of farm fish to total fish use has risen over the years, reaching 46.8% in 2016, up from 25.7% in 2000. This figure amounts to about 80 million tonnes of farmed food fish annually, compared to about 90 million tonnes of wild captured fish. Farm fish have recently superseded wild capture fisheries as the main source of seafood for human consumption. While almost all farm fish production is destined for human consumption, the proportion from wild capture fisheries now stands at around 78%. Today, we're going to look at the bizarre ways some of the most popularly consumed farm sea animals are bred. Salmon consumption worldwide is three times higher than it was in 19. Salmon aquaculture is the fastest growing food production system in the world, accounting for 70%, that's 2.5 million metric tonnes of the market. It is scientific consensus that fish are sentient beings who feel pain and suffer. So please understand that this process, although may not look like it to you, as we all express pain differently, I can assure you these fish are suffering. Salmon are removed from the water where they'll immediately begin to suffocate and are thrust onto a conveyor belt into a factory-like setting. These animals are sorted and the female is stunned via an automated percussive system, which is the predominant method used for stunning commercially, whereby an air-powered hammer-shaped cylinder delivers a forceful blow to the head of each female salmon. The female is then sacrificed in a brutal fashion. Her stomach is sliced open and her eggs are removed. When they're ready to spawn, we'll, we'll kill that fish and then, which sounds really rough. Male salmon who are ready for spawn are then milked or essentially masturbated into the container of salmon roe, which is then mixed, ready for incubating. <laughs> Catfish is the leading aquaculture produced seafood product in the US. The annual harvest of farm raised catfish in the US is at least twice as much as the annual aquaculture production of all other species of fish and shellfish combined. Annual production over the last decade has ranged from about 500 to 650 million pounds. The stripping of female catfish is a procedure where the animal is taken out of the water and dried with a towel with the cloaca exposed. A finger is then run down the underbelly to push eggs out of her into a bucket. The male spawner has to be sacrificed an hour prior to the stripping of the female eggs to obtain the milt, which in catfish cannot be gotten through the same stripping process. The procedure on the male fish is carried out by cutting open the abdominal area to expose the testes for easy dissection. The milt, or fish semen, is then extracted and mixed in with the eggs to fertilize them ready for incubation. Now that was absolutely awful. Global farmed shrimp production in 2016 was more than 5.7 million tonnes. The top importers of shrimp, both farmed and wild caught, are the European Union and the United States. Now one of the weirdest things I've ever seen since I've been looking into the ways humans sexually exploit animals is seeing a shrimp being jacked off by a human. Although it's uncertain at how common this practice actually is, the fact that it's even practiced at all is just weird. Apparently, the procedure for artificial insemination in shrimp goes as follows. A female shrimp with mature eggs or ovaries is selected. The male shrimp is essentially jacked off to extract the sperm mass from the spermatophore, and the prawn semen is then inserted into the female. Come on, this is just getting out of control. The last animal, or more like insect, I'd like to feature in this series is the small but significant honeybee. And I'll let my friend Sonia say explain this part. Hi everyone, bees will only produce honey if they have a queen. Queen bees are often artificially inseminated, which means that the honey industry first kills by crushing and squeezing a male bee to take out his semen and then they forcibly insert it in the queen bee's vagina. Wow. Is there an animal on earth we haven't sexually exploited for our own gain? This is just getting creepier as the weeks go on. 
Please share this video far and wide with the hashtag FebiScary to those who need to see exactly the type of sexual abuse of non-consenting animals they are paying for when they purchase animal products. Let's all oppose and boycott the sexual exploitation of sentient beings no matter the species. Thank you.